Today, we're going to talk about how do we technically prove something is a Nash equilibria. So we have defined Nash equilibria in the last class. Now let's look at one simple example. So we have player one and player two. Player one is prisoner one, player two is prisoner two. And uh, both players, they have two choices. They can either confess to their crime or they can deny the crime. So if both of us confess, so I'm player one and you guys are player two. If both of us confess that, yes, we have done the crime, police is going to put us for two years in jail. If I confess, but you deny, then since I am uh, I'm acting as an informer to the police, so police is going to set me free. But since you are denying, you will be set uh, you'll be set for three years in play. If I deny and you confess, so you are acting as an informer to the police. In reward, police is going to set you free. And I am going to be put in jail for three years. So that is the reason minus is written here. And if both of us deny, then police doesn't have much uh, evidence against uh, any of us for the major crime. So police is going to put us only for the minor crime for one, one years in jail. Now we're going to claim that uh, this confess, confess is an Nash equilibrium. Now, how do we say that? Uh, so given, so you will write alongside me. So we'll write it technically given. Player two plays confess. Player two plays confess. Player one is better off. Choosing what? So if player two is confessing, you can see Player 2 will confess or deny. So player 2 will have a choice between minus 2 and minus 3. What do you think it will? It is going to pick up? It is going to pick up uh, minus 2 only. Right. Player 2 is better off choosing confess. Right. So do you think I am player 1 and you are player 2? Do you think that if you are confessing, you guys are player 2. If you are confessing, do I have a profitable deviation from moving from confess to deny? No. Why will I go? Why will I want to go from minus two years in jail or two years in jail to three years in jail? So that's not a profitable deviation. One thing. Right. Second. Given. Player one plays confess. So I am confessing. You have a choice between two years in jail and three years in jail. What is it that you're going to pick up? You'll pick up two years in jail. Right? So you are also better off choosing C. Player two is better off. Choosing C. Fair enough. Do you think that you have uh, any profitable deviation from moving from confess to deny? Do you want to move from two years in jail to three years in jail? Is that a deviation you want? No, that is not a profitable deviation. If it is not a profitable deviation, then this confess, confess becomes an equilibrium. Now we will say that if you look at the another options, for example, you look at confess, deny, for example, Confess, deny. So I'm confessing, you are denied. So this outcome. Right? So I'm confessing, you are denied. So is this an Nash equilibrium? This is not a Nash equilibrium. This is not an Nash equilibrium. So it is sufficient for you to show that at least one pair has a profitable deviation. Either player one or player two. So let us say uh, player two, you guys. So... If I'm confessing you are denying, you are thrown for three years in jail. Don't you think you have a profitable deviation of moving from three to minus two? From three years in jail to two years in jail. So you have a profitable deviation. Na? So it is not an Nash equilibrium as player two can deviate.
from denying to confess. Fair enough. Now, what about deny and confess? So deny confess. Just look at it here. Deny confess. I am denying, so I will have three years in jail. You are confessing, so you have zero years in jail. Is this an ash equilibrium? This is not an ash equilibrium. Why? Because for me, there is a profitable deviation which is existing. What is a profitable deviation? I can move from three years in jail to one year in jail. Right? I can do, sorry. I can move from three years in jail to uh, two years in jail. I'm so sorry. If you are confessing, let's say. Right? If you are confessing, I can move from three years in jail to two years in jail. That is, I can move from deny to confess. So deny confess. This is not an ashikulopriya. As player one, and it is enough to show any one player deviating. Deny to confess. Okay, is uh, deny deny an ash equilibrium? Is deny deny an ash equilibrium? Huh? So here we have one one years in jail, right? But don't you think that uh, player two, if he wants, or player one, if he wants, he can deviate from uh, what? I mean, he is getting one year in jail. He can move from one year to zero years in jail. You can do that. So pro provided you are denying, you are denying. So I can move from minus one to zero. It is better off for me. Right? So what do you have? So it is not an Ashi prayer as player one. can deviate from deny to confess as player one can deviate from deny to confess fair enough okay now supposedly each player's preferences uh, are given by <clears throat> mia plus alpha mja right so MIA is the amount of money which is received by the player. Let's say. So M1 is the amount of money which is received by player 1. M2 is the amount of amount of money which is received by player 2. A is the action. Alpha is any non-negative value. And you are given with this table which you can see here. So here quite means I will remain quite. I mean I am player 1, you are player 2. It is exactly like prisoner's dilemma. So I am player one, you are player two. And quite means we are denying in a way, right? Uh, so, and think would mean that I am becoming an informer, right? So in case if both of us remain quiet, in case if both of us will remain quiet, so our utility is two, two. We can only be thrown in jail for one, one year. Our utility is two, two. If both of us confess or if both of us become informer, our utility is 1-1. One, one, right? And if I remain quiet and you, you inform, then my utility is 0 because I can be thrown into jail and you will be set free. But your utility is 3. Similarly, if I think and you remain quiet, if I think and you remain quiet, because you remain quiet, you didn't tell anything to police, you didn't help police, so your utility is zero. But since I have become informer, so my utility is three. So you've changed this entire uh, question from uh, number of years in jail to the utilities. Let's say these are the numbers. These are also the money equivalent which you are getting. Right. And now you are saying that uh, the preferences for player I is MIA plus alpha MJA. So don't you think it is like an altruistic behavior of player I? So uh, say for example, uh, uh, I am playing, uh, I mean, for, for example, the action profile is quite quiet, right? So what is going to be my utility? 
just think about it quiet quiet i am player 1 i am getting to but i am also getting utility from what you are getting so i am not only thinking about myself so this is sort of an altruistic behavior so it is plus alpha 2j alpha is any non negative number so it is like this are you with me so we can fill this up huh? i guess we can all fill this up so utility of individual 1 when quite quite is being placed is being played so it is that it is what i am getting 2 plus alpha what you are getting right 2 plus 2 alpha hmm? uh utility of individual 2 when quite quite is placed is is played so you are getting 2 plus alpha what i am getting utility of individual 1 when quite fink is being played so i am getting 0 plus alpha what you are getting utility of individual 2 while when quite fink is being played you are getting 3 plus alpha what i am getting utility of individual 1 when fink quite is being played i am getting 3 plus alpha what you are getting utility of individual 2 when fink quite is played so you are getting 0 plus alpha into 3 utility of individual 1 when fink fink is being played i am getting 1 plus alpha into what you are getting utility of individual 2 when fink fink is being played you are getting 1 plus alpha into what i am getting fair enough uh huh now we can plug these numbers here so it becomes what uh, in place of quite quite it is uh, 2 plus 2 alpha 2 plus 2 alpha this is 3 alpha 3 for uh, fink quite it is what i think 3 plus 3 comma 3 alpha and this guy is 1 plus alpha 1 plus alpha. 1 plus alpha 1 plus alpha now the question is for what values of alpha this will look like a prisoner's dilemma for what values of alpha this will look like prisoner's dilemma so one you have to understand is that if you want to model this game as prisoner's dilemma so don't you think that in in prisoner's dilemma what is it that that used to happen confess was better than deny yahi tha na for each individual confess was better than deny no so for each player for each player yahan pe yahan pe kya hoga i mean here you have quite and fink so fink is like being informing so fink is better than quite quite ka matlab kya hai yahan pe deny fink ka matlab kya hai yahan pe confess informing the police so for each player for player 1 for player 1 fink is better than quite right when you are playing quite so for each player each player prefer pink to quiet when other player chooses quiet let's say theek hai to ab beta hi kya hoga agar maan lo main player 1 hu and you are playing quiet so for me pink is better than quiet right so it is 3 is greater than 2 plus 2 alpha so that is 1 is greater than 2 alpha or alpha is less than half right <clears throat> for each player prefers fink to quiet when other player chooses fink yahi tha na <clears throat> that even if you are choosing fink i am going to choose quiet yahi to tha na even if you Uh, deny i'm going to choose quiet i am going to choose uh, confess even if you choose confess i'm going to choose confess yahi to tha na so here also it is like this so it is what 1 plus alpha greater than uh, greater than 3 alpha 1 plus alpha greater than 3 alpha so once you solve this it is going to come out to be uh, 1 greater than 
or alpha less than half. And if you remember, in our initial game, we said conf uh, deny deny is better than confess confess. Why? Because in deny deny, you were getting only one one years in jail. In uh, confess confess, you are getting two two years in jail. But that is not an Nash equilibrium. Deny deny is not an Nash equilibrium. Here also, if both of us remain quiet, if both of us remain quiet, it is like both of us denying. Our utility is 2 2. But if both of us think, it is like both of us confessing. Our utility is 1 1. So quite quite is better than 1 1. No? So each player prefers. Both of us remaining quiet to both of us thinking. So that would mean 2 plus 2 alpha greater than 1 plus alpha. This has to be true. There is nothing wrong in this. This, this condition has to be satisfied. It will be true. 2 is greater than 1. 2 alpha is greater than alpha. This is satisfied for all non-negative values of alpha. This is... Uh, For all for all non-negative values of alpha, right? So this is what I wanted to do in this class. I hope uh, it was of some use to you. Thank you, Vita.